evening, friends. Let's, we're gonna go to get some pigs. But before we get started, remember smash that subscribe button and give us a like. Also, ring that bell and comment down below. Let's get started. Okay. Well, friends, we're going to get our baby pigs today. And before we go, go to get those baby pigs, I would, thought I'd walk you around the, the mobile pig pen. We rotationally graze our pigs. We'll start off here. We have a crate that we'll go get them in. We're getting four pigs this year. We had a hard time finding pigs. Here's our mobile pig pen. We have a ramp with a boat wench on it. Why are you lifting me up? Just because I can. That ramp works. ramp works for a lot of things. Uh, one is we rotationally graze the pigs. We'll move them usually once a day because we don't allow them to root in the pasture fields. We typically don't put them in the woods so we keep them out in pasture field usually in a one of the highest quality fields that we have at the time. We can run the, ba or run the pigs into here close the door behind them and then we just hook onto the wagon and pull it ahead to move them into new pasture. The the sides come off the ramp and we can hang them right here on the side of the pig pen. Let's go inside and take a look, see how we got her set up. We're not completely set up yet. I still have a few things to get back into shape here. Here's the door. Come on, Scott. We have it split into two sections and we used to farrow hogs and we used to farrow two sows in here at one time. And you can see here we have have a place for the baby pigs to get away from mom and we're no longer farrow and hogs because we don't have the markets to to sell but we can raise for ourselves and some for the neighbors so i don't have it hooked up yet but this here's a nipple nipple water and we'll look at the, the water tanks outside and then we'll put an automatic feeder here once they get started Dad, started growing they're not big enough to uh do that nipple yet well we'll put a cement block underneath it whenever i get it hooked up and they'll, they'll get it figured out you can come out and put some peanut butter on it and they'll get used to it and then here's a side gate too to get in and out of the pig pen and that there actually works as to if we need to shovel it out but normally after we get them started into the rotational system they'll actually go outside to do their business and we don't have to shovel any manure Take a look at this side. This this side of the ramp here hangs on there for mobility because the ramp will actually fold completely up. And on the front we have two 55 gallon tubs, tanks. I don't have them hooked up yet, but I'm gonna, I'll have them hooked up here because we'll be out rotationally grazing these guys next week. I'm gonna put a, a pressure valve in the top here. One thing with pigs is you don't want them to have a pressure system with a nipple because they play in it and flood the area and cause a wallow or, or here's a nipple outside nipple here i need to clean it out one of the things that you have to do whenever if you're doing a mobile pig pen is you need to cover your valve stems the pigs will chew, chew your valve stems off and you'll have flat tires somewhere and you go out to move the pigs and you'll have flat tires okay friends well we're gonna go to the neighbor's house we're uh, taking care of some cows for the one neighbor he's on vacation We'll stop over there and make sure they have their hay and stuff and every, everybody's doing okay. And then we'll head out and get our pigs. We're gonna go get some money, don't we, Em? And if you're gonna be raising hogs this year, I'd recommend to start looking for your baby pigs because baby pigs are, are becoming really scarce. I've found baby pigs anywhere from $250 to the ones that we found clear down to $45. And here's the neighbor's cows all looking nice and relaxed and calm shedding out let's get two bulls there doing okay we'll go down and we'll check the other cows 
He's got a bunch of them. I'll be right back, honey. Oh, take me a minute. Can't really see him, but those cows there are back in there. We got lots of hay. I don't know if we can get in here or not. It's probably too dark. Yeah, it's too dark. We've got oh, maybe 15 or so in there. Maybe four or five calves. Check down here, make sure these guys got hay. Yep, they still got hay in their hay feeder up there. They're good to go. I stocked them up yesterday when I was over. Hey guys, we made her back. Did you hear that? Yeah. What's in there? Pigs. Pigs? We finally got our pigs. How many? Four. We got two bigger ones and two littler ones. Two from one litter, two from the other. Yeah. Well, what we'll do is we'll get our ramp. I'm gonna have to pull up. Head. Yeah, I need a full head. Toby, he's going to be happy, isn't he? Yeah. You know how he likes his pigs. So bark at him all day. Shoot, we let him. See him, he's getting all excited. Look at him. Toby dog getting all excited. Look at that. That's hilarious. Toby wants some pigs. Come on, piggies. Get out. Piggies. Lucy. Four little piggies in there. <laughs> Lucy, gotta come out. The one, he don't have a tail. They bit his tail off as some of his litter mates. Will it grow back? No. It'll be okay, we don't eat the tail. I love these pigs too. Piggies. Come on. Scout no. Toby, he's he's watching them. He loves piggies. Come on. Come on, piggy, piggy, piggy. Come on. <clears throat> Scout's never seen a pig. Come on. Here, honey, come on. Got to get pigs time. They get the 
pushing them too hard, Dave. There's a cute little pig. Dad, that's one small pig. They're in their house. I'm getting used to their surroundings. When you go under the gate? We'll be doing videos of rotationally grazing these pigs throughout the year. And you'll see how fast that they grow. In six months time, they'll weigh 300 pounds. Well, there's, there's our little piggies. And that sucker there's gonna dump the feed bowl. That's what little pigs do. Ah, there they go. They're eating the green now. You notice how they, they're eating those oak leaves, so too. Hey, Dad, what do you suppose these weigh? I would say that mm. one weighs at least 60 pounds. It weighs a good 60 pounds, honey, anyhow. And the little ones weigh about 30. That one over there about, about weighs 20. Oh, they weigh about 30, those little ones. They'll snuggle down. They'll snuggle down on that straw that's in there they'll tonight. Lay down in the yep, they'll snuggle down and hunker down and cuddle up to one another and Hey Dad, I can bring the marshmallow out and tame these guys down. Yeah, I hope you can because we need to be able to load them whenever we go to rotationally graze them. <laughs> whenever you're raising hogs, you don't have to be as have a fancy setup like what we have. We've been doing this for 30 years now, and so we built, went ahead and built a mobile pig pen for the rotational grazing aspect. For years, I raised pigs just for myself, and well, I used to raise one pig a year. And the myth that you cannot, you have to have two pigs in order for them to do well, that, that, I bunked that myth a long time ago. So, if, you know, you have a family of four and you only want one hog, you can go ahead and just raise one hog and it will do just fine for you. Or you can have 15 or 20 hogs, it doesn't matter. And We'll keep them in with electric fence. I've always used electric fence to keep the hogs in. It can be a little tricky to get them fence broke, but once they're fence broke, they won't go through that fence. And you don't need a large area to have to raise your baby pigs. You can raise them in a fence in an area as small as 30 by 30 and if you had two pigs that would be more than sufficient and and the way we used to give them shelter these little guys they need shelter from the rain and uh, the weather until they get started well until they get up to about 150 pounds and then they're pretty tough and durable until then we have to give them a little bit of shelter and what i used to use for shelter is two four by eight sheets of plywood and i would take a two before full length of the one sheet and screw it on and then I would screw it, screw the the two pieces of plywood together to make a teepee. And that is that teepee works extremely well. And you can put a cross member across the base of it and to keep them from collapsing it. Until you get them started, that works extremely well. Now if you have a lot of if they're gonna be out in a really sunny area where you don't have any shade for them you'll have to keep that TP, uh, you'll have to rebuild that TP probably a couple times throughout the year because as the pigs get bigger, they're gonna sm smash things and... Well friends, those are our pigs. We're gonna be raising them throughout the year. Emmy, she's decided she's gonna start doing some videos with us. So hopefully you like her and uh, give her a big thumbs up because she's really excited about talking to you guys and, and doing some videos. So. We'll catch you next week, friends. So long. So long.